In today's video, I'll show you how to create certificates for multiple candidates in MS Word using the mailing feature. This method helps you save time by using one template for all candidates. I'll be using a pre-designed certificate template, which I've already covered in another video, no need to redesign it here. You can also download this template from officetemplatesonline.com, the link is in the description. Alright, let's get started. First, open your certificate template in Microsoft Word. Make any adjustments you need, change the heading, text, or logo to match your requirements. Once you're happy with the changes, head over to the Mailings menu at the top. Now, under Select Recipients, you'll see a few options. You could type in the candidate list manually by filling in the built-in fields, but we'll be using the second option, Use an Existing List. Before we use the Use an Existing List option, we need to prepare a list of candidates in Microsoft Excel. Open Excel and create a list with two columns. Label the first column, Teacher's Name, and list all the names of the candidates. In the second column, label it Certificate Title and add the corresponding certificate titles for each candidate. Once you've completed the list, save the file on your computer. Now, return to Microsoft Word where you're working on the certificate. Go back to the Mailings menu, and under the Select Recipients tab, choose Use an Existing List. Locate and select the Excel file you saved, then click Open. A dialog box will appear showing the list of sheets in your Excel file. Leave the default settings as they are, and make sure the first row of data contains column headers option is checked. Click OK, and you'll notice some new options appear on the top ribbon. Next, click the Insert Merge Field tab. You'll see the columns from your Excel file, Teacher's Name and Certificate Title, listed here. Select the placeholder for teacher's name on the certificate. Then, go to the Insert Merge Field option on the Mailings ribbon and choose Teacher's Name. This will insert the variable for the teacher's name into the certificate. Next, select the placeholder for Top Performing Teacher and on the ribbon, choose the Certificate Title option. This will insert the variable for the certificate title. To preview how the data looks on the certificate, click the Preview Results button on the ribbon. You'll see the first record populated with Jennifer Smith, matching the data from your Excel file. Use the right arrow button to navigate through the records and verify them against your Excel list. Review all the data by going back and forth through the records. Once you're satisfied, click the Finish and Merge button. You'll see three options, Edit Individual Documents, Print Documents, or Send Email Messages. Choose Edit Individual Documents. A dialog box will appear asking if you want to merge all records or just arrange. Select All and click OK. This will copy the main certificate template and create a certificate for each candidate with their specific title. See how easy that is? I hope you enjoyed this short video and learned something new. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and have a great day.